But <clears throat> so for this problem, ladies and gentlemen, we're dividing, right? Now, here's an example I want to show you. Anybody? Answer. It's, it's easy. Yeah. Square root of five. Radical two. Different, okay? One thing I want you guys to understand is this makes sense because five evenly divides into ten, right? It makes sense. Square root of five, that's actually a decimal, okay? Um, even worse than a decimal, that's a decimal that goes on and on and on and on forever. So how can you possibly divide something that you don't even know where it stops into another number? Does that make sense? How kind of difficult that already seems? You have a number that's going on forever, and you're trying to divide it into another number. All right? So that, whatever way you write your answer, if you're going to use your calculator, it's going to be approximation. You're not going to get the exact number. So what we do is we never want to divide by an irrational number. So to get rid of the square root of 5, what I could do is square root of 5 times square root of 5 equals the square root of 5 squared. Well, the square root and squaring are opposite operations, just like addition and subtraction. So those can cancel out to equal 5. So what I want to do, well, first of all, I notice I can reduce 14 divided by 7, right? Automatically, I can rewrite this problem as 2 radical 8 over um, radical 2. Right? 14 divided by 7 is 2. I can automatically simplify this. Then I need to get rid of the, my radical 2. Okay, so I multiply radical 2 times radical 2. So what I get is 2 times radical 16 over 2 times 2, which is radical 4, which you guys should know is 2, right? Well, 2 times square root of 16 is 4. So I get 2 times 4 divided by radical 4, which is 2. My final answer equals 4. Got it? Okay. Um,